Hey guys, it's been a while since we updated you with our can module. This is our new Mo can, and I thought I'd give you a short update. So basically everything in this Jeep is being controlled through a can network, and we're not taking any shortcuts here. We've been in development for a while because we're trying to include all the original redundancies and safeties and can robustness. Now something that will be different with our can versus what's already out there is we're doing this all with OE level coding and hardware. So we're not modifying any modules, we're doing the proper handshakes. We are using a complete pure network and we're not modifying anything which means there's going to be less failure rate in can corruption. So pretty much everything on this dash here you see is is being controlled. Now the second thing I want to say is we're going can to can. This is not a half-baked module. What that means is we're pulling can messages out and putting can messages back in. This bridge is not going can to discrete or discrete to can. What that means is you pull a signal out of one network and then by the can and then you put it back in discreetly by grounding or powering whatever the other signal. This is can to can which is a lot cleaner and we'll talk about the can robustness later. So let's go ahead and uh, drive a couple of the functions here. Tachometer. Okay, let's do our coolant temp. Check engine light. Oil light, and we are including oil pressure monitoring here. So here we are, the engine's running. This tachometer is interfaced right through the can, as is the coolant temp and everything else on this dash. Let's go ahead and run the Prindle through. Park reverse, neutral drive. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, there's going to be a couple of options here. We can program this for commanded gear or current gear, and we'll talk about that later. The air conditioning in this Jeep right now is fully interfaced. What that means is when you turn on your air conditioning through the Jeep control, it is sending all the messages the GM side needs to control the air conditioning properly. That's the evaporator temperature sensor, the condenser pressure. So the GM side will not only do AC idle bump, but it will also control the cooling fan, compressor clutch cycling, and everything else that's related to air conditioning. So. Let's take a quick look here. Let's turn on the AC. Now we do have a delay in the compressor, just like OE, we've mimicked that. If we look at our condenser pressure here, or that bottom line, you're going to see our EVAP temp going down. And of course, that EVAP temp is going to stop at about 39 degrees Fahrenheit and cycle back up to 46 so, degrees. Basically that's a pretty quick look at our CAN interface and just know that this CAN interface is going to be a very efficient small module that's going to eliminate some, some of the other modules. It's going to be potted in an aluminum case and heat resistant which means it can be mounted in the engine compartment which is going to reduce the interior hookup dramatically. So you're going to be seeing that this real soon and we're not going to release it until it's 100% perfected and we know that the failure modes and safeties and redundancies are in place. So keep an eye out.